So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that Minecraft Launcher is not running. So you might need to scroll down to find Minecraft Launcher. If you do see it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. If you see Minecraft Launcher running, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search again and type in Minecraft Launcher. You want to right click on it and then click on App Settings. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, then click on Terminate. Then you want to click on Reset and click on Reset again. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC. Then you want to click on your C drive. Then you want to look for Export Schemes. You want to click on that. Then you want to click on Minecraft Launcher. Then Content. Then you want to find the Minecraft.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Compatibility. And then you want to disable full screen optimizations, run this program as an administrator, and then tick run this program in compatibility mode. So Windows 8, and then click on OK. If you can't see Xbox games, you want to head over to search and type in add remove programs. Click on it. Then you want to scroll down until you see Minecraft Launcher. You want to click on the three dots and then click on move. And then you want to move it to your other drive. Click on move again. Then you want to right click on Minecraft Launcher again. Click on move. And then it will show you your C drive again. So just select your C drive and click on move again. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. Then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best driver for your device has been installed. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.